I'm Kath, the Cornish Sewing Girl. I should be saying that in my sleep, wouldn't I? Anyway, I've popped on uh, because last time I said whatever I'm sewing, I shall show you. Uh, I shall film it and I have done this week um, as best as I can for the first time around. It's uh, it's weird getting the angles you want, but uh, I've done my best. Anyway, um, oh, do you know what? Today, I didn't start the jacket until uh, Thursday night. So I only have really Friday. I only cut it out Thursday night. So I only had Friday to try and make it because I wanted to have it together for my video. I like to do it at least once a week. Well, today I ran out of milk. And uh, because I was so steam ahead with my jacket, I went all day <laughs> without a cup of tea. And I got one now. So I'll have a quick sip. Oh, handsome that is. Anyway, the jacket I was doing was this one here. Remember I did mention that one with the princess seams? And I showed you the material that I cut into for a cushion. And I showed you the contrast colour. Although the contrast colour was nearly there, it needed to be a little bit more plummier, really. Uh, it had more plumbing than, than it did have pink. Anyway, um, that's the jacket. And this is the... Um, I'll just tell you the number of that jacket in a minute. That's 6035. And that's... She, all it got is one centre back panel and two, you know, where you put your princess seams in, two side panels. And then on the the front of the jacket, are you seeing that the right way around there? Yep, you just got the bit where you have the lapels and the side panel there. And then you do that on both sides of the jacket. Now, the only pitfall that I had with doing this and that was purely my mistake. Hold my hand up with that. Um, just see which piece it was so I can explain it to you. You'll hear me say, when I'm sewing, you'll hear me say, oh, that looks upside down. And you'll hear me say, no, I, I just peeped and I said, no, it was fine, but it wasn't fine. Because when I peeped at it, because I, look, I'd always um, extend it when I do a jacket. Always like a little bit more, like two inches more, just so it comes down and tucks over your bum a little bit nicer. Um, here, where I put the, the bin on the bottom, I must have had that the wrong way around. Because I cut in to here when that was on this side. So I had a big sort of a U there that I didn't really want. So I had to make the jacket a little bit shorter in length, but it didn't really throw me out that much. It was sort of doable. So when you hear me sort of say on there, oh, I think that's upside down, it, it was. And when you hear me say, oh, that's a little bit short at the end, because I like them to really meet at the end, it was too short. And... I fathomed out what I'd done wrong. But apart from that, everything went tickety-boo. It's just that when you do do your layout, remember that some of the pieces are upside down. Uh, the pieces that are folded generally are. Like the one on the fold, there is grayed out. And when it's grayed out, that means it's upside down, you know? So, and, uh, I'm sure, oh yes, and a bit of the collar piece was upside down as well. You know, on the pattern pieces, you just put them face down. So, there you go. You can uh, just watch me uh, do a little bit of sewing and I'll be back at the end. See you in a minute. Now, we're just getting on grain. Whoops, something's falling on the floor. Pattern pieces. Now this is my ruler and we just from the salvage come down and that's 13 there. 13 there. Just smooth this out a bit, make sure it's all on grain. By 
the center of that bulb. This is your green line here in the middle. And that looks oh, that is. Hang on. Hang on, it can't be. That looks like it's upside down. Let's just see. No, he's on. Right. Let's pin them in place. I had the green line all done, didn't we? Now we got to do it again. Never mind. Right. I'm going to go for 14 now. We've moved it. 14. Right, here we have the uh, side, side princess seams on the back. <coughs> Pardon me. Just show you how I do them. Just getting everything lined up because you've got that little difficult bit to start with there. I don't do a five eighth of an inch. I always do the width of the foot because if I need to go bigger, I can take come in bigger rather than unpick it and come out. That does somehow seem to make sense. Couple of stitches. Back stitch. And we're off. Now I've got my, this has got a little bit of give to it. So I thought maybe a zigzag stitch would be better, but it didn't look very good when I turned it over. So I'm going to do a loose running stitch, a, a three set, three millimeters one, because um, it's, it, you know, it's in between a rigid and, and a stretch. It's not got a lot of stretch in it. So um, I'm going to go with the, um, just go with the normal stitch without the zigzag on it. Now, as we come down, and we get to this bit, we can see more or less there's not a lot, hardly anything of um, reason in. Now, how I do it is different to people do it. They pin it, you know, most people pin it. And yeah, that is a tried and tested way. Nothing wrong with that. I like that way as well. But for me, I tend to just See how much ease I really need. I don't really think I need a lot. I'm just going to push a little bit of ease in and see how I go as I go along. I like to get my hands in there, feel it as I go. Just get those little notches there to, to line up. That's them lined up. Then I just give a little bit of ease in, pull the top one and push with the bottom one just a little bit that might well have been it because on the back one you won't get much ease yeah i think that's practically done it yep i don't think we need any more ease now just that little bit i'll go through that measure through it again in a moment and we just glide on down 
I think if I add grey cotton, I should really. I just wanted to make sew something for you all. Um, normally, I would have made sure I add the right because I think navy is going to work because it is a navy jacket. But inside, when I done the zigzag, you know, that did show when I turned the seam out. I think a grey probably wouldn't, but um, I think we'd be safe with this. I'm not going to put it through the overlocker because my overlocker don't want to play. I spent a couple hours on it yesterday trying to get it to sew and every time I threaded it they would jump out when I started to sew. You know the threads would jump out of the threading. So I thought right I'm not you know you can only spend so much time giving things a go. So I'm thinking I either need a new one or need to go take it in and just get somebody to have a look at it and think why is everything all jumping out every time I thread it. There we go. There we go. I won't show you every seam. And I'm pleased with that. We'll take that up to the camera there. That's where the join is there, right there. Could come out with perhaps two more stitches. That's always the little bit of a bugbear, that one, getting that to lay straight there, right on that little, right there. But yeah, I could do with perhaps one more stitch there. And yeah, that one's gone in okay. It's very difficult to see it with this fabric. But um pleased with that one. Now, for the other side. Now, just before I do that one, I'm going to have a little bit of fabric here at the moment. Whoops. Let's just get a small little scrap. Now oh, that's a bit too small. And just show you how I do my easing in. Because this is how I do, I, I love things with princess seams. And princess seams is not a difficult thing to do. Um, just show you the principle. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is ease the bottom one in. Okay. So we've got two pieces of fabric here. We're going to give ourselves a little bit, say a little bit longer here. Not much though. Well, let's see how much we can do. I'll show you what I mean. Right, we're off. Now, in order to ease this in, this bit in here, say you've got a little bit of a princess seam here and you've got a, a, a big bit on the bottom and not so much on the top and you want this bit to be pushed in. Pinning it is fine. Don't dislike that way at all. Now, in order to get some ease, I just push in with my fingers in. And if you have like a little guide here, like um, you can get a little metal plate, like it's like a another, you can buy them when you buy your feet. Just a plate with a seam guide is helpful because you're keeping an eye on this, pulling this up, pushing this in, and it's nice to have a little bit of a guide there. But um, you do get used to it. So I push the bottom one and pull the top. Okay, so just, just a, a slight push and pull. Slight push and pull. There we go. And we can see there that we've got that wool iron out. We've got a little bit more of a bit of a gather in there at the top. And there. So if we were to iron that, it's something that will go in lovely. But that's my method. I hold the top up. So this is another bit of fabric just so I can show you. My method is what we do 
We'll have them the right length this time. Let's just chop them off so they're the right length so you can see that you can ease it in that way. Okay. Now these are the right length and let's see what we can do with easing it in. Right, let's see how much ease we've gone in with that. See so that was that was your ease there and we've when we come back we've eased quite a bit in there look that's one bit and the other bit is way down there and all we done was just was just eased it in by pushing pulling slightly on the top and pushing on the bottom and that's that's how much we've eased in at the bottom there okay so much we've eased in and all i do is push and pull do one more right we'll do one more just show you one more just hope i haven't got something i needed for the jacket here i won't snip in the collar up anyway show you on here I won't pull, push your much in now and I just hold your Christopher Ninja if you ever google him he's the one I got this from years about, about 15 years ago and he said if you want to ease you want to get your hands in there and feel for all and feel what you're doing. You just pull that one with a little bit of torque on the top and push with your hand. And there's lovely for going round corners on princess seams. Just let the feed dogs just push it in. Now it didn't do, didn't do much there. there is a little bit more gathering on that side than there is on that side you just got to really manipulate it with the pushing and pulling you know i've got quite dark fabric <coughs> fabric so it's difficult to let you know um you know how to do it but that one's gone in lovely a little bit of ironing you know these the tailor's arm are good uh, i'm going to take you off camera while i do the other one um then i can show you where i've got to on the jacket right just checking it and seeing what what i need to uh how much ease there needs to be and you know whether to push more or less in now, I've had to turn this one around now and have the bigger part of the material on the outside and the small bit of the princess seam is on the inside because I've got to get a little pocket there to get my little hands in. To... Right. I've changed my stitch. I did say I was doing a straight stitch. I thought better of that actually because um, when I handled it, there did seem to be more give than I thought. So, uh, you know, stretch than I thought. So I thought, no, I think I better do. So I've done the little lightning stitch and I've done it on three millimeters. Here we go. Now by just doing the five eighths of an inch i don't do um well i'm just doing the width of the pressure foot at the moment but you can do a five eighths of an inch it's whatever you feel you want to do i always think if it's um 
you know too big i can just easy come in you know it works both ways you know or you can unpick it and move out oh i forgot to do me me a little bit of pushing in then because i was chatting but we got we haven't got much here i think i can still do it yeah that one little big shove has done the done that all right yeah because me yeah uh, make sure we haven't got it too many things catching underneath always you know try and pull it straight now we got the two little notches here as you go around the princess seam there we go and there they're all matching up i love to see a notch match up it's weird isn't it but i certainly do right now we'll have more bound now right down the bottom hmm don't know what's happened this one's looking a little shorter at the bottom there than the one on the top oh it's rolled up i think What's happened here? All right, we're sewing the back to the front now of the jacket down the side seams. Oops, got a little bit of loose thread there. sure the last little bits always like them really to be perfectly lined up hems are always easy then there we go hang on we've done this we throw sewn the front to the back just going to pop the sleeves in there there we go hang on i think i turn you a little bit around a little bit more there we go and just to the end you can see me that well i wanted zoom but um somehow my phone don't seem to want to do it at the moment right well anyway we've sewn all the pieces of the jacket together now apart from the sleeves there we go let's just do a little look Yep, now we're just going to do the sleeves. Right, now we've got the sleeves to go in. And then we can do the lining. Hi, I'm back again. And this is the jacket. Um, let's just show you inside. we got it lined inside. I haven't got the sleeves in yet, but it's all fully lined at the back as well. So we're nearly there with this one. Give me another day fiddling around with it and she shall be good to go. Um, when I done the lapels, I um, cut a little bit off of this, shaved a little bit off of that side just so that they roll under a little bit, which they have done. I've got um, some interfacing in there. So what I'm going to have to do is um, go in and, and just take a little bit of the bulk out of the, uh, 
of the seam allowance that needs a good iron just to see if we can roll that over that we can play around with that uh just to show you the seams we got a princess seam here it's gone in really lovely there and i think she was on grain quite well because i haven't got anything that's pulling it it's just that needs to hang a little bit sometimes it's always good to let them hang because um you know if if if, if it's going to drop then you can do the hem a little bit better but yeah i think i'm going to put a nice little row of buttons i'm going to put sort of three or four small small issue size not too small down there and that's the uh, princess seams going along here for this one there and on this side here and that's the sleeves there and i might do the contrast color in the bit of the gray which is underneath put it on the bottom of this one here because this is the color of the lining and that's just got to be slipped in and i'm going to stitch a bit of this on the bottom so when it rolls back you know you'll have a little bit of contrast there my tailor's dummy's falling apart here, looking bedraggled. There we go. Just needs a little bit of pulling into shape. God knows what I've done. There we go. Anyway, hope you like how I've done it. And when I completed it properly, I can show you how it's all, how I got there. I hope you could see that hope you could see that but she's gone she's gone in quite nice and that's the sleeves so they went in okay yeah and the lining is all fully lined so there you go there's me jacket <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all again soon and hopefully my jacket then well, I'd be able to try it on and I can and show you. I think it'll look lovely with a nice pair of denim jeans. Anyway, cheers for now.